Seems like everybody knows somebody on PrEP in Toronto's gay community. Michael Fennis takes the pill every day, and he's a pharmacist with hundreds of clients on it. Nobody can say with certainty that their significant partner, whether male or female, uh, has any other sexual partners. Mentions of PrEP are all over dating apps like Grindr and Scruff, with dozens of men looking for condom-free sex, thinking it is now safe practice. But it isn't, so says Toronto Public uh, Health. We are concerned about uh, the, the possibility that people on PrEP or Truvada for prevention could um, be more likely to acquire STIs because they may not be using condoms. Officials say it's too soon to know with certainty if PrEP users are contributing to the city's rising infection rates. Toronto Public Health data shows that in the nine months after the drug was approved, cases of syphilis went up 7% compared to the previous year while cases of gonorrhea and chlamydia were also on the rise. In the United States, PrEP was approved in 2012. Since then, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have noticed what they call an alarming rise in syphilis infections, as well as a spike in unprotected sex among gay and bisexual men. But Toronto researcher Daryl Tan says PrEP users must be screened for HIV and STIs every three months, meaning faster treatments, which could lead to lower infection rates for everyone. Valérie Wallet, CBC News, Toronto.